Today I'd like to tell you about a feature on the Next Gen Cat Dozers. Let's go take a look. One of the sweetest areas of the new Next Gen Cat Dozers is the cab area. To get started here, I'm going to hook my seat belt, which has a new orange colored three inch seat belt, very comfortable. And as I look over the top of the hood, you'll notice the visibility is great with the new sloped hood. I have excellent peripheral vision of the job site from all sides and also the ability to look down the corner of the blade because that's really where the operator looks to do their work. As far as controls go, they are seat mounted controls, which means they do not feel the vibration that comes up through the machine. On the left hand side, I have my direction and steering control. Also the yellow button is my bi-directional control and also the black button is the horn button. The thumb wheel at the bottom controls my gear ratio or ground speed. The right hand control is what controls the blade lift and tilt and then also the thumb wheel controls the blade angle. Your yellow button on the right hand joystick controls your automatic off on for your grade control features and also you have two black buttons which uh, control the increment and decrement functions on grade control. If the machine is equipped with a power pitch option, those are what control the power pitch. With the seat mounted controls, it makes it very easy for the operator to be comfortable in the cab when they're doing their work. Notice my hands and arms as I rest my arms down on the armrest and drop my hands down onto the controls. They fall very naturally right on top of the controls for less fatigue during the day. And if I do need to adjust my armrest, I can do so very easily without any tools by simply grabbing the latches on the side, adjusting the armrest up and down into a position that's comfortable for the day. On the right hand console, we have our throttle control knob which allows us to set whichever engine RPM we want to operate at. Also, that is where we would set if we wanted to operate in eco mode to save fuel. Right above it is the red parking brake lever and right beside it is the implement lockout button. To the rear, if equipped with fourth valve hydraulic control for the ripper or a retrieval winch, that joystick is located in the, this area on the right hand console. On the left hand console we have our temperature controls for both the fan and the temperature setting and also the air conditioner switch. Directly in front of us we have great visibility to the machine health display. The operator can look at this screen at the top and know exactly what the different operating conditions are for the machine. Also if equipped with slope assist that is where they would view that information for controlling the blade main fall and cross slope angle. Directly below it, we would have our display for 3D GPS if equipped with great visibility down to the corners of the blade, which is super if you're doing grading work. You can glance back and forth between those two areas and know exactly what kind of job you're doing. For great operating conditions inside the cab, we've got a great HVAC system with airflow on the two posts on the left and the right with great ventilation to the operator. Also very comfortable footrest up on the dash if the operator chooses to use those for a brace or comfort or just changing your foot setting during the day. Up top we have the buttons which will control your wiper and washer and then to the right is your radio and Bluetooth. For more information contact your local cat dealer.